So I've been wanting one of these for quite a while. I finally got a CR spotless water uh, DI, deionizing water system. Um, so I haven't unboxed it yet. And um, I figured I'd unbox it on, on camera here. You can see what it looks like. You know, my water here isn't all that bad. So I, I really haven't felt a dire need to get one of these, but I've wanted one. I was sort of waiting until I until I got um, built my new garage, so I can get this out of here without making a fool of myself. So I got the cart version because I really don't have anywhere to mount this to the wall. So this one I'll just put in next to my, I'll put this next to my um, pressure washer. And I'll just bring it out and use it with the pressure washer when I... I'm gonna wash the car for afterwards. All right, there's the cart. Assuming these are the resin containers. So I'm gonna cut this open. These resin containers, or the, the resin section, whatever the heck they call these things, the filter things, are not cheap. So, you know, you don't, Pretty sure we don't want to wash the car completely with the deionized water. And like I was saying, I really don't have a problem with hard water or getting water spots, but I think these things are pretty cool. So I've wanted one for a long time. Now I got one. So theoretically, I won't have to Rent, you know, dry the car, which I still will, but you don't have to dry the car when using the deionized water. Here's what the resin filter looks like. There's the cover. Should probably do the smart thing and read the instructions. stuff in the box. Make sure you can see what the heck I'm doing over here. Alright, so let's do what most of us never do, which is let's read the instructions. Alright. Read before using. Please do not drink the water. Do not plumb directly into household or water supply. Do not operate past reading of 020 ppm. Do not exceed 75 psi inlet. Do, flow, do not flow more than two and a half gallons of water per minute. Okay, unpack. One. Hose adapter. Oh. Two. Teflon tape. I have some of this anyway. Teflon tape. 
guess there isn't a part number three. Four, centering ring. Assuming that is or something. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, Pre-filled cartridge. That's this. Let's see, six is blue housing. Seven is stainless steel inlet hose. Oh, sorry, this is one. This is the hose adapter. This is the centering ring, aha. Centering ring, hose adapter. This is the inlet hose. Hose wrench. Nozzle. And it must be that. Oh, housing wrench, not a hose wrench. Okay, uh, wrap Teflon tape at least two times clockwise around the finer pipe threads. That would be this part. Wrap that around. It says two, I'll do three. Okay. There's one. There's two. Okay, assemble fittings. Insert the Teflon tape wrapped end of part one into the input side of the system. I'm super lazy here, sitting down. Let's hope I can actually see what the heck I'm doing. That goes on the side. <clears throat> There's an inlet and an outlet. In. And, uh, you know, I was telling Matt from CR Spotless that I was going to make a video. So I'll have a, a promo code where you can save 10% off. This is the start, I think. Start of me getting cool stuff and then being able to hook everybody else up. All right, let's see if it tells me how to torque it down to tighten with a crescent wrench or channel locks. I like channel locks. Assuming we just go, you know, medium hand tighten here. Okay, there's the inlet, there's the outlet. So this is the 20 inch version. All right. Next, assemble the housing. 
insert cartridge number five, white cap down. So this way, this thing, white cap down. Place one centering ring over the top of cartridge. Okay, I'm gonna take one of these things. Put it over the top, okay. That just keeps it from moving around. Fits right into place. So, I don't know if you can see that. And then, you turn this darn fan off. So you can hear what the heck I'm talking about. Put the other centering ring in here. Okay. I probably don't need instructions, but since I'm doing this on video, now attach a complete housing to the cart. Tighten using the housing wrench. Okay. Like a giant under sink deionizer. Tension read before installing. This filter is intended for use water with water use only. We don't need that. I don't like stickers. And you use this wrench. Nifty. Okay, there's the first one. There's the second one. Probably a smarter way to do this, but that's the way I'm doing it. All right, so that's done. Attach one end of the inlet hose to the inside. Then attach your garden hose to the out. So what I would do is attach my Okay, so this inlet, I think what I'll do, so here's the inlet. What I think I'll do is, um, put some quick connects. I think I have some extra ones. So I know I have one. Let's see here. All right, so I'm just thinking through this hose wise. You know, they supply a little hose and um, 
I need to get a couple more of these. I need to get a new one for my hose bib anyway because it's kind of worn out. The bearings are worn out. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a quick connect on here so that I can quickly attach, you know, so the quick connect, you know, go, will go, you know, so I can attach this to a hose or any other piece so it quickly I can disconnect and reconnect because I'm not going to leave this hooked up all the time. I'm not even use it all the time. So I'm going to mount this. I'm going to get another one for this side. So that way, because most of the time I think I'll probably use this with the pressure washer. So what I can do is say, so this goes to, so this would be, actually the way it would go is the outlet would go to the pressure washer. So I want to be able to connect this in line really quickly. So the out, when I'm ready to put, introduce this into the system, the outlet here will kick quick connect on. Actually this, let's see, how will I do that? Oh yeah, this way, this outlet. So this will connect quickly onto here and go right to the pressure washer, which then you know, has one of these things on there that connects quickly. And I'm gonna buy another one of these and have the same thing um, for that. So I'm gonna need one, two. So I've got a bunch of these males, but I need to get a couple more females. So I need one, two, three. Yeah, because I need a new one for the hose bib. So there's one, comes out of the hose, goes into here, that's two comes out of here, goes into the pressure washer, that's three. Yeah, so I need three of these, three of these combos here. I already have one, so I need two more. With this Gilmore quick connect combo, and I'm gonna pull this rubber thing off because I don't, I don't need these rubber pieces on here. Just leave it on there. So I'm going to attach this to the one side. So I won't be able to quick connect this this weekend. But I needed to order another, a new one. A new, a new quick connect for the, the hose bib outside anyway. So I'm wrapping some Teflon tape on here. I always put the Teflon tape on backwards, but you can probably just hand tighten this since it's plastic. I don't want to jack up the threads. Okay, so there's the inlet. You get another one for the outlet, so I'll have quick connects on both sides. Connect to the hose. Yeah, boom. So it'll look like this. Now this will be screwed into the hose like this. And then, boom. I mean, I could probably just use this. Actually, I kind of like how it looks like it'll wrap up nicely. This is just like a uh, washing machine hose. It says to use a f no longer than four feet. Cool. So the hose will come out here. 
connect, quick connect. I like matching things. So I'll probably do, I'll get another one of these so that the whole thing matches. They're only like 10 bucks or something like that. I get these from Ely Corp. All right, so then all you basically do is that when you're ready to rinse the car off, you just turn on the water supply, you turn on the meter, as long as it says zero, 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 you're good. So for about 95% of the life of the resin, it'll read zero, zero, zero. And then once it goes to, I think it's zero, two, zero. Oh yeah, when the water is flowing, the TDS meter reads zero, one, nine or less, the water will be spot free. Once it reaches zero, two, zero, then you need to replace the resins. So, piece of cake. So that's the CR spotless water system. I'll show you how to use it here one of these days. Uh, I'm gonna order up the rest of the parts. But that's what it looks like when you unbox it. Pretty cool. And it's gonna fit nicely right next to my pressure washer in my cabinet over here. <laughs>